fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver, the Lone Ranger. Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. There's danger on the trail ahead. Well, Silver, fire! Benjamin Steele and Breed Gomez kept to the back trails as they headed south for the border. They were travel-stained and weary. Their mounts were jaded, but they kept on doggedly mile after mile. When night comes, we will be at the Rio Grande. On the other side is Dos Brazos. We shall be safe there, senor. Safe? It's better to be safe than sorry. I'm not finished yet, Breed. No, you'll start over again in Mexico. If much money with you, you will find many chances to make more across the river. They won't be able to make more than I did in Tomahawk Basin. It's better for you to forget Tomahawk Basin. Now that Daryl has talked to the law, you are wanted for murder. I'm going back. You're loco, senor. They'll put you in jail as soon as they see you. They won't see me until I'm ready. You are alone now. Do not forget that. All our men are in jail. A hundred of them. If I had them all together again, I'd play the game different. I'd drive the law out of the basin and take what I wanted by force. Still, your men are in jail. There have been jail breaks before. Oh, so that is what you plan. Yeah. There are other things to consider. Your men will do no good if they do not have rifles and ammunition. We can get them south of the border. And horses, senor. There's plenty of horses in the basin. There's plenty of my own horses there. It's better for you to stay in those places. Not a chance. What about the Lone Ranger? We've been lucky to get away from him. He'll be waiting for us when we go back. That's the main reason I'm gone. I want to even the score with that hombre. Other men have tried that. Hold up a minute. Oh, boy, who that? Oh. Reed, are you with me or against me? The way you're talking, oh, I think... Oh, no, I, I am with you, Senor Steele. I, I only ask you to consider. I have. The Lone Ranger won't stay in the basin long. The jailbreak can wait until we show him someplace else. Oh. And when he does show up, we'll be ready for him. See, si, that will make a great difference to have men behind you. A hundred. My orders will be shoot to kill on sight. Come on, get up there. Get up. A month passed. The tomahawk cattle still roamed the range. But the Tomahawk Ranch was silent and deserted. Leadville had settled down into peace and security. Though now and then an uproar broke out in the crowded jail, the townspeople only smiled. Steele's outlaw crew was behind bars. The basin was safe for honest men and women. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, there. Oh. Howdy, Jim. Howdy, Sheriff. You're sure the picture of ambition? Well, there's not much else to do but lie around these days. Having any trouble with the prisoners? Not much. You heard anything from the Lone Ranger? 
There was a pilgrim rode through the other day. Said he was somewhere around Tombstone. Uh, it's a long way. Yeah. I guess we won't be seeing him anymore. Can't expect a man like the Lone Ranger to waste his time in Leadville. Too bad he didn't catch steel while he was at it. Ran him out of the country. That's almost as good. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, be seen, you, Sheriff. So long, Jim. Get up, boy. Then came a week of rain, and in spite of the dam and the hills, the level of the river that flowed through the basin rose foot by foot. There was no alarm. If the river overflowed its banks, the cattle could be driven to higher ground until the flood subsided. But one night, as the sheriff was standing at the bar in the crowded cafe, a new sound was added to the noise of the wind and the rain. A muffled explosion drifted down from the hills, and then afterwards, the roaring of the floodwaters. Bill, that sounds to me like the dam's broke. There's a flood on the way down to the basin, and there's still a lot of cattle near the riverbank. I'm calling every man who can ride a horse to follow me and help the ranchers get the herds out of danger. Come on, then. In ten minutes, every able-bodied man in town was in the saddle and riding to the aid of the ranchers. Half an hour later, Benjamin Steele and Breed Gomez reined up in front of the jail. Whoa, 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 whoa. Be sold around, senor. I could have picked up better night. This door will be locked. You can break it in. And the keys to the cells are always hanging on the wall above the sheriff's desk. Would you wait into it now? Uh, that's good. Now come on, light the lamp. See, si, senor. Yeah, I got the keys. Hey, look, boys. It's a boss and breeze. We have come to let you out. How'd you manage it? We blow up the dam. There is a great flood. Everybody in town ran out to help drive the cattle to higher ground. Here, Breed, let the others out. Oh, see, si, senor. Uh, I gotta hand it to you, boss. Here's a gun. I don't think we'll have any trouble getting out of town. There's right, cattle horses waiting in the grove. Where are we going? Back to the ranch? Not just yet. All the guns and ammunition we brought from the south are up in the hills. That's where we're heading tonight. Tomorrow night, we'll move back to the ranch. The sheriff will be waiting for us with a posse. No, he won't. He'll figure that you boys will get as far away from the basin as you can. Be sure to find out different soon. The sooner the better. This is going to be a fight, Rusty, and we're going to win. We're going to run this county if we have to kill every rancher and cowhand in it. How are you coming there, Breed? They're all free now. Let's go, boys. The rain slackened just before dawn. The sun rose in a cloudless sky. And when the men rode back to town and saw the open doors of the jail, they realized a storm of a different sort was about to break. They had help from outside, that's sure. Can Steele have come back here? I don't know. If he has, if we... he has, we're in for trouble. He's wanted for murder and he won't stop at anything. Well, as soon as the boys have something to eat and get fresh horses, we're going out after him. You haven't a chance to pick up the trail. They must have broke out when it was still raining. There won't be any tracks. We'll take a look at the Tomahawk Ranch first. Then we'll ride up into the hills. Well, you'd better get back before dark. You can't leave the town and the ranches around here unprotected again. We'll be back. Let's hope we find them first. There's about a hundred men in the gang. I know. There's more of us, but our places are scattered all over the basin. If they take us one by one, we're sunk. We've got to think of some plan. I wish the Lone Ranger was here. Yeah, he'd come if we sent for him. There's nothing more he'd like than to put steel in jail. How about it, Jim? Would you go after him? Whenever you give me the word. Wait until tomorrow. We aren't sure yet. Maybe they just cleared out. That don't sound like steel. Wait until tomorrow. If we find any trace of them, that's up to you to bring the Lone Ranger pronto. Steele and his gang rode down from the hills that night, and three cowboys were unlucky enough to cross their trail. The outlaws asked no questions and shot to kill. In the morning, the cowboys were found, and Jim Carey prepared to ride for the Lone Ranger. Tell them everything, Jim. Tell them how they're back at the ranch and they're fixing it up like a fort. Tell them what happened to Larry Oliver and Pete Smith and Johnny Day. You're not going to try and smoke them out? No, it cost us over a hundred lives. I can't take the responsibility. Not when there's a chance of catching them in the open sometime. Oh, you're right. I don't have to tell you, Jim. You're taking on a mighty dangerous job. I'll get away all right. One man's got more chance than six. And I couldn't spare any more than that. I know. Good luck, Jim. So long. Get up there, boy. Well, let's hope he gets through. <laughs> Two weeks later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were heading east. At sunset, they stopped to cook their evening meal, but they did not make camp for the night. A full moon and a cool breeze persuaded them to continue on their way. The trail led along a ridge. 
To the right was a valley long held sacred by the Indians. The Lone Ranger and Tonto could see their campfires and hear the throbbing of distant drums. Maybe better we ride to north. Why, Kimasabi? Those Indians are friendly. Well, those aren't war drums. Well, that's right, too. Then why should you be worried? Them make big dance to Moon God. This valley of Moon God. White man watch dance and die. We aren't close enough to see it. The trail doesn't go down into the valley at all. You can see plenty far. <laughs> not that far. Better you not look that way. All right, Kimosabi. I'll keep my eyes straight ahead until we get past the valley. Uh, it bad medicine for white man to watch dance. Whom God not like it. Kill him. Oh, I thought you meant the Indians would kill anyone who watched. Well, not right. Them find out, them kill him. Them not find out. Whom God kill him. I didn't know you were superstitious. Oh, can't have just tell story, that all. I see. Well, I... Steady, Silver. Steady, boy. Is that yelling part of the ceremony? No. Dance to moon god. Dance a piece. And those are war cries. Huh? You may not like it, Toto, but we've got to ride closer and find out what's going on. Maybe so. Come on, Silver. Come on, let's go. Silver, steady, boy. Oh, Tonto, there's a man riding toward us. An Indian chaser. His horse is tired. They're gaining on him. Well, that's right. We'll ride alongside and he can get on Silver. You grab the reins of his horse. Keep riding. Come on, Silver. Get him on, Scout. You know me, last man. I'm Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey from Tomahawk Base in Kimosabe. Uh, Those engines are after my Scout. Swing free of your stirrups. You're changing over to Silver. Huh? Shall I rein up? You don't have to. Just got your legs free. That's it. I'll lean over, grab my shoulder. I'll help you over. There. We got the range of the sorrel, Tonto. Uh, oh, Silver! Boy! Even with his double burden, Silver had too much speed for the Indian ponies and soon left them far behind. When they were out of danger, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Kerry made camp, and Jim told his story. So that's why I headed west to find you. If I hadn't found you when I did, I wouldn't have got any farther. You plenty lucky get away from Injun. I didn't know what they were up to. I just rode up to their campfire, hoping I could get some information about you and the Lone Ranger. You can forget about the Indians now. We've got to think about getting back to Tomahawk Basin. It's been two weeks since you left there. Yeah. No telling what's happened since then. Hello. Uh -huh. Fort Union's a hundred miles north of here. That's right. You better ride there and tell the colonel everything that Jim has told us. If he can spare some men, lead them to the basin. Uh -huh. You ride on? Jim's horse is tired. We'll let him rest tonight, but we'll start out the first thing in the morning. Lone Ranger and Jim Carey made the trip to Tomahawk in eight days. Uncertain as to where Steele and his gang might be, they avoided the hills to the west and entered the basin from the south. Except for the cattle, it seemed deserted. A number of ranch houses had been burned to the ground. There was no sign of life around there that remained intact, not even around Steele's place. On the masked man and the rancher rode toward Leadville, and at last they reached the outskirts of the town. The same here as every place else, Jim. Not a sign of life. Well, what's happened? We'll have to find out. If those cooks have wiped out all the ranchers and cowhands, and there ought to be some sign of them anyway. We'll have to be watching out for that sign. But they couldn't have. We had more men than steel did. A lot of fighting going on, Jim. That's sure. Look at the windows in that house. Yeah, every last one of them broke. Zeke Mason lived there. If steel felt strong enough to attack the town, then... Yeah, it looks bad. Steady, Silver. Steady, boy. What's he acting up for? He must have a reason. Say, there's some horses out in front of the cafe. Yes, Jim. And saddled. That means there must be somebody inside. Let's get a move on. Steady, boy. Steady. Silver doesn't want to go on, Jim. There's something wrong up ahead. But we've got to Wait. let him... The door of the cafe's opening. There's some men coming out. Hello there! I've brought the Lone Ranger! A thousand dollars to the man who drops him! They're stealing his gang. Right, Jim. Get up, Red! They've captured the town. Come on, Silver! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. As the Lone Ranger and Jim Casey wheeled their horses and raced out of town, the rest of Benjamin Steele's outlaw army poured from the cafe and sent a hail of bullets after them. The masked man and the rancher made their escape. The last Steele called a halt. That's enough. They're out of range. It was the Lone Ranger. There is no doubt about that. You don't have to tell me. There was Jim Curry with him. He brought him from the west. Does this change your plans? Why should it? What do we want with the town? Yeah, it's true. It will be hard to defend. I guess, too. All I say is, what's the use of it? We got most of the supplies that were here out to the ranch already. Rusty. Yeah? Get those wagons around in front. Get them loaded with the gold and the rest of the stuff we can use. Kino, boy. Make it fast. As soon as they're rolling rage, you can carry out the rest of my orders. Si, senor. We set fire to the town. The sun had already set when the Lone Ranger and Jim Carey reined up on a high ridge that overlooked the basin. They started to make camp. But suddenly a bright glare lightened the gathering dusk below them. It's fire. Yes. They're setting fi- the town on fire. They decided not to stay there. The ranch will make a better stronghold. This is the end of Leadville. It never was much to look at, but it was our town and... Oh, golly. I understand how you feel, Jim. If only there was something we could do about it, but there's only you and me. What's happened to everybody? My daughter and Abby and Ted Bailey and all my hands. Have they been killed? Have those crooks murdered every honest man and woman in the basin? No, that can't be, Jim. Then where are they? Quiet. I can't be quiet. Listen, Jim. Oh, somebody riding this way. Right out to this point. It's the sheriff. You're right. Sheriff! Who is it? Jim Kelly! Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Howdy, Jim. So you got through and found the Lone Ranger. I was worried about you. Quick, Sheriff. Tell us what's happened. They've set fire to the town. Oh, we can see that. It's my fault, all my fault. I waited too long. What do you mean? You know. I was afraid to attack the Tomahawk Ranch when I had all of our men together. Then I couldn't hold them together. One after another, the ranchers took their crews back to their own spreads. And that's just what Steele wanted. He went after them one by one, burned them out, drove off their cattle. Well, Abby and Ted, are they all right? Yeah. Where? Back in the hills. We didn't try to defend the town. There were too many women and children there. We didn't have as many men as when we started out, and Steele was getting reinforcements every day. He's still getting them. All the gunmen and outlaws in Texas. What did you do, Sheriff? I ordered everybody to load what they could into wagons. And one night when there wasn't any moon, we started for the hills. You gave up without a fight? Oh, no. The town had been raided two or three times. Now it's all finished. We might just as well keep on moving. Give up the basin and head west. What do you say to that, mess man? You aren't giving up the basin for long, Sheriff. There's help on the way. Help? Troops from Fort Union. How many? As many as the colonel can spare. It may take them a few days, but they'll get here. Uh, you are sure? Yes, I am. The colonel has orders from Washington about Benjamin Steele. A few days, huh? Are you safe for that long? It's hard to tell. Steele's men haven't come into the hills yet. We still have arms and ammunition, but we could be attacked, all right. I've been hoping they'd think we cleared out for good. Take us to the camp. We'll have a look around. Well, I'm turning everything over to you. Whatever you say goes. Men and women from the basin were camped in a high valley. Sheer walls of rock protected them to the north and south, and ridges swelled to the east and west. It was on the crest of the eastern ridge that the Lone Ranger conferred with the sheriff and Kerry the following morning. You picked a good spot, Sheriff, but you can't expect to hide. Those outlaws working for steel know the hills better than you do. I guess you're right. The valley can be defended, though. Whatever you say goes. We've got to get to work. Guards must be posted on this ridge and the one to the west. There's no cover up here. We'll have to build earthworks. Call the men together and we'll get started right away. late that afternoon that Rusty pulled his Mustang to a sliding stop, slid from the saddle, and ran up the steps of the Tomahawk Ranch House. Boss, I found him. Uh, that's fine. I had a hunch he was still in the hills. Yeah, but where? You know the valley, high up. Yeah, I'll draw you a map. Here, yeah, this pencil and paper. The Lone Ranger's there with him. I guess he's getting them organized to stand off an attack. We'll have to move fast. What's that you're marking? Sunset Peak. The valley's a half a mile to the north. I know. You're right to the top of ridge, and there it is. That's right. They could line up their men at the top and stand us off. They haven't got as many as we thought they had. And I got an idea riding back here, boss. Well? We go after them just at dawn, just as it's getting light. Yeah. First, we send about 20 or 30 men up the west slope. They can get around there when it's dark. But that's just a fake. See, to draw them to the west ridge. We hold most of the boys below the east ridge. And when we hear the shooting on the other side, I'll bet we can ride straight to the top. <laughs> After that, it's simple. We'll try it. There's plenty of time to get ready. Pass the word to the men. (laughs) 
Easy, boy. For all the men at their post, Sheriff? Yeah. They didn't like it much, rolling out of their blankets so early. You can send half of them back to eat as soon as the sun's up. If Steele tries to get us today, it will be in the next few minutes. What do you think? Well, we have to be ready for anything. Just a few more minutes before it starts getting light. Yes. I'm going to ride along the ridge and see if I can... Listen, from over west. They're coming up the west slope. The question is, how many? Must be all of them. I don't see or hear nothing down below here. It's still too dark to see. Hadn't we better send the men on this ridge over there? No, Sheriff. There are enough there to hold it. And we can't afford to leave this side unprotected. But there's no sense in yes, trying to... Yes, there is. Listen to that. Most of the gang are attacking here. Open fire, men! <laughs> Rusty's plan to surprise the defending ranchers failed, and the first attacks were beaten off on both slopes. But they rallied for a second charge, and the second wave almost reached the top before it was driven back. At that moment, the ranchers were surprised to see the great horse Silver jump the earthworks and charge down the slope. The lone ranger urged him on with outlaws on either side of him. Fire in the air, boys! What's it mean, Sheriff? What's he up to? Keep firing, men, in the air! He's going to make it, Jim. Well, I don't savvy. He can't be running away. And if he's trying to capture all of them, it's just plain local. They're so anxious to find cover, they don't even know he's riding with them. He's ahead of all of them now. They're sure to recognize Silver. Go, you see? He's cutting to the trees just as they open fire on him. But what for? Why did he do it? Steel isn't with his men, Jim. The Lone Ranger's gone after him. Steady, Silver, steady. There's his horse in the corral. He must be here. Who's there? You're covered, Steele. So it's you, eh? You men got beaten right away. My men aren't beaten, but you're going to have a part in the fight. You're going to make me go with you, is that it? You're coming back with me to the hills. Oh, no, I'm not. Don't forget that I know a lot about you, mister. You never shoot to kill, for one thing. That might not be true in your case. I'm going to gamble on it. And it sure don't hold for me. I'm going to draw my gun slow and easy. You talk too much. You had to be tied up sooner or later. Might just as well be now. Hold your fire, men. Here comes the Lone Ranger up the hill. Why don't the outlaws fire it? Don't you see? He's got steel. Stand back, men. He'll be jumping over the earthworks. Easy, boy. Easy. Now up. Silver. All right, boy. Easy. Easy there. Get hold of steel, Sheriff. Ease him down to the ground. We got him. Yeah. Now then. What are you going to do with him? That depends on you. All of your men are down at the bottom of this slope. I want you to order them to throw down their guns and march up here with their hands up. What if I refuse? And I'll turn you over to someone else. All right. Let the sheriff arrest me. Not the sheriff. I'll turn you over to the men whose homes you burned. No, no, you can't do that. I'm waiting. You don't have long to make up your mind. All right, all right, I'll tell them. Hurry up. Reed, Rusty, tell the boys to throw down their guns and surrender. What is that? Throw down your guns and surrender. March up the hill with your hands above your head. Breed. Are we going to do what he says? Yeah, why should we? He's a boss, ain't he? Is it for him to say that we go to jail, that perhaps we hang? No. If he has been stupid enough to let the Lone Ranger capture him, then he has no right to be our leader anymore. No. All they belong to him will come to us. <laughs> let them kill him. We will do the same for them. We almost reached the top last time. See, open fire, men. Into your saddles. We charge. <laughs> didn't work. They're coming after us again. For the line hole. We've had to send some of the wounded men down in the valley. We're strung out pretty thin, mass man. We can mass our force when we see where they attack. Hey, what's that? The cavalry. They're coming up the western ridge. The army, boys! Open fire on the outlaws! We don't have to hold out much longer. There's the flag coming over the top of the line. wave of blue with the colonel, Tonto, and the color bearer riding in front swept down into the valley and on up the defender's position. The colonel and the lone ranger spoke together for a moment. The bugle sounded once again. The cavalry swept over the earthworks. The outlaws charge broke halfway up the slope. The sight of the well-ordered ranks let only one thought in their minds, escape. 
but it was too late for that. It was a sharp, brief encounter. The colonel's commands rang out. Before the gang realized what was happening, they found themselves completely surrounded by a swiftly closing ring of blue and steel. To a man, the outlaws surrendered. Their hands were tied behind their backs, and then they were herded down into the valley. There, the colonel and the lone ranger conferred. There's no jail in Leadville, colonel. The town's been burned to the ground. We'll take the prisoners back to the fort. Now, that would settle everything. I, uh, I don't have to tell you the steel must be sent to Washington. He's wanted for treason as well as murder. I know. That's all, I believe. But uh, I'd like to thank the army for all the ranchers in the basin. That's right. That's right. You've given them back their homes and their freedom. Seems to me the situation was well in hand when we arrived. We couldn't have held out much longer. Tonto told us when he reached the fort. We know how quickly you went into action and what a brilliant march you made. It was only a job that had to be done and done fast. But I'll tell the boys what you said. Thank every one of them for us, Colonel. I shall. Are you going to be leaving us, mass man? I'll have to, Jim. Steel won't escape. You can be sure of that. There are still two more traitors at large. You've got to start after them. The best of luck. Thank you, Colonel. Steady, big fella. Let's go, Tano. Uh, Adios. Adios. Come on, sit. Get up. Oh. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.